Jay, so uh, Danny Garcia mm -hmm. defeats um, Jose Benavidez Jr. Yeah. by majority decision. It shouldn't have been a majority decision. I don't know what that judge was thinking, but yeah. anyway. Um, he touches on mental health after the fight yeah. and then calls out Keith Thurman. Yeah. What's your thoughts on, I know I just gave you a whole bunch, but what's your thoughts on the situation as a whole? I mean, the mental health thing is important. People need to remember that no matter the, uh, the magnitude of the, of the person, like you know, as far as life levels, I mean, you still go through shit. You know what I mean, shit still go through your mind that you want to do in life and things that, that you feel like should be better and you know what I mean, and so on and so forth. I think that was important that he got that out there because not so much that he was using it for excuse, but like, yo, this shit really real. Like people go through shit and they think because you got money or some type of success, you don't go through shit. Um, and I don't know, man, I feel, I felt, I felt what he was saying. Like, like damn, like that's why I think people should lay off fighters a little bit, just a little bit because they don't understand fighters are people. You know what I mean? We just, we just built different though, but fighters are people. So, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it is what it is, but Danny, you know what I mean, I give him, I give him kudos to, for doing that, like for putting his business out there. He didn't have to do that. You know what I mean, he shed a tear and all that shit. You know what I mean, I, that shit, I felt that shit though. But um, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, fifty-four, great fight. Um, Danny feel like he want to get that lick back. You know what I mean? He want that rematch. I think that's, I think that's still to this date a great fight. You know what I mean? It's still, it's still a money maker. Keith Thurman got one loss, Pacquiao, you know what I mean? Uh, Danny just got himself back in the rankings, beating uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. Mm. I think shit, I think it should happen. Why not? Do you think that's even a better fight at 54? Being that now they yeah. don't got to cut as much? Yeah. You see, Danny look, Danny look like, Danny look like the old Danny. And by the old Danny, I ain't talking about early in his career, you know, as a pro. I'm talking about back in the amateurs. Danny used to box. Danny used to fight, but Danny used to box. And that's that's what it reminded me of. The amateur Danny. I mean, he was letting his hands go. That's the Danny I was used to looking at. So, I mean, I was, it, it, what, that, what that let me know was 54, he felt good. His energy was good. Health was good. I mean, his mind was right. Good job. I think I think Thurman, I think Thurman even feel better at 54. Hmm. To be honest. And Thurman might, never know, he might revive his career. His career didn't really drop. His stock ain't really dropped too much. But it's like... Him in the mentions, sometimes we'd be like, man, what the fuck keep Thurman talking about? But I think this, I find like this is putting back. Plus 54 popping. With Danny and Benavidez moving up, that shit popping. And then with Earl and Terrence Crawford about to follow in about a year. Yeah. So that, yeah. 54 popping. You know what I'm saying? So look forward to that. I mean, anybody at 54. I like all the matches. They, they, they interviewed Tony Harrison. You know what I mean, in between the fights, I think Tony Harrison would be a good fight for either one of them. I mean, any of them guys. <laughs> any of them guys. Good fights. Okay.